Welcome back folks, it's uh, phil 2 Real here with Sonic Mania Playthrough, this is part 4, and this is actually take 3 of this uh, part for me post-record. Uh, first one I didn't like, the second one, I was recording my mic was turned off the whole time and I got all the way through two-thirds of this before realizing it. But uh, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Start of Speedway Act 1, this is the past section, and it's a fusion between Stardust Speedway Act 1 and Marble Garden Zone. You got spikes galore everywhere. There's marble architecture. Um, the worst bad mix in, the, in this level is going to be the Firefly and the Roly Poly Bot. I think that's it. As far as like bad mix, I don't really like and I detest. Those are the two I don't like. Mainly the Firefly. Um, and so... Those are like chosen statues. I didn't notice that the last few times I watched myself play this, but anyways, I digress. If you hit the flower capsule bell, you release a beanstalk. It makes me think of Mario, especially when you see me bust open the second one. And you can jump on the petals, the leaves, and right here. I have to kill that that bug bot because I hate it. So if you get a prana plant, which I don't know, it smells like Mario to me. But I digress. So Sort of speedway is very fast, it's very speedy against the name. But I like that it's fast, but that's also the reason why I don't like it. Because you're very liable to run the spikes. Like spike platforms right here, the roly poly bot tier, uh, spike balls getting launched from the ground, uh, giant spike balls on a chain, you know, there's spikes everywhere. Even regular spikes. So that's the biggest hazard for Act 1. Uh, I don't think it's so much bad in Act 2. Uh, right here, you want to get enough speed to bounce, so I'm going to spin dash here to you know, make myself bounce. Like balls right there on chains. What can I tell you? There's lots, there's balls everywhere. Balls, 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 full of spikes. Um, I might not have lost my, my chill with uh, realizing that I recorded like almost 18 minutes or 15 minutes without the my mic turned on. But anyways, that makes this much more entertaining for y'all, hopefully. It's my hope, anyways. So, go up and down and all around here. I almost got <laughs> by spikes right here. Um, spike platforms right here. See, there's spikes everywhere. And the music, I really like it. Especially that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes me think of, uh, makes me think of Michael Jackson, which I know Michael Jackson did. Uh, it's, I like to think he did some, uh, tracks for, for Sonic 3 because you can tell um, some of his music was in there and he may or may not have but I'm going to say he did that's what I'm going to choose to believe and nothing can convince me otherwise so uh, you know take your time here you have all these prana plants uh, that can chew your see I was about to lose my pull there and, and uh, let's say something very very unnice but anyways um, take your time don't don't run into the Piranha Plants, um, they are your worst enemy. And this boss here, you get a few free hits here. That's two hits, so all you gotta do is hit them four more times. And the Firefly bots are gonna be your worst enemy. Um, they're very easy to avoid, but if you stay still, they will hit you. So I hit him twice, I'm gonna hit him four more times here. I'm gonna hit him twice right here. Well, you should run all the way to the opposite side. He'll shoot off that beam that'll follow you, but. Once he gets to the other side, he'll turn it off and you hit him two more times. Four more times. You hit him four times the entire section safely, I believe. And the stage transition here, absolutely one of my favorites. I like to call back to Sonic CD's gimmick about past, present, and future. So, really nice. It, it makes me smile, but not as much as Act 2 Star Speedway. I absolutely love the soundtrack. This is probably my second favorite soundtrack in this entire game. Um, it's my favorite of the of the old levels they brought back. Uh, Act two of Blind Battery Zone is really, 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 really close to this, and Hydro Two Zone Act two is really, really close to it. No, I yeah, this is my second favorite, and then Blind Battery Zone Act three. Act 3. Act 2 is my third, and then Hydra City Act 2 is my fourth. But the winner is going to be Lava Reef Zone Act 2. But anyways, I digress. So if you're real careful there, you can jump down and get that giant ring. But once you get out, you're locked. You can't go back in once you come out. And 
this track legitimately makes me smile every time I hear it, and not many tracks can do that. Uh, it just brings back so many good memories for me. Uh, one memory I don't like about Sparta Speedway is, of course, the boss from the original version of this game, from Sonic C, which we kind of do fight that same boss again, but there's a lot of change up to it, which I'm grateful for. But yeah, this stage is very short. There's a trophy here if you beat it in under. If you get to the boss in under a minute, you get a trophy. I don't. I've never really been a trophy hunter myself, but I just know that because of other Let's Plays I've seen in this game. Um, but yeah, something special. I love the purple. I love the, the cityscape in the background. And then the instruments make me think of another Sega game that I'm really, really, really fond of, Rift Star. If you haven't played it, I give it I give it a chance. A lot of the, a lot of the game is developed by Sonic Team, I believe. If I'm wrong, you can correct me, but I believe that's true. But we gotta race Metal Sonic again. And it's this is not not this is nothing compared to the original one. The original one I found a lot more harder. He has three attacks, he'll spin dash into you, which he could have hit me there. He has a shocking attack, which he missed me really badly right there. And he has another one where he'll turn into, uh, let's say, I'll say uh, a Dragon Ball Z uh, dash, where he turns into a fireball and dash like that right there. And then he should hit me there too. But uh, he didn't, luckily. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat this boss. My first, he should hit me there on my first try. Uh, and this part of the boss fight changed from the original version because you had to hit the Silver Sonics when they were jumping. Otherwise, you wouldn't hit Metal Sonic up there. But in the new versions of the game, you can jump into them while they're not in Spin Dash, and they'll release little orbs that will deal half the damage that that just did. Um, if you knock the Silver Sonics into them, you get the full damage out, and you got him, I call it 3 HP. If you knock Silver Sonics into them when they're balls, they count for one, but if you knock them, if you hit them, if you destroy the Silver Sonic like that, right there, that's half an HP, that's what I call it. So, three full hits, We'll, just, we'll finish this phase. Six hits with the little energy balls will finish it off. So a mix and match it, you can, you can do a lot of damage really quickly. And right here, this boss fight, I've never played Sonic Chaotix, Sonic Chaotix, Knuckles Chaotix on the 32X, but this fight, I believe it's a little bit of a callback. I've never played it. Um, I know of it, but I've never really played it. Um, but here, I got a little bit too... I got a little bit too ambitious and I tried to just like bum rush it and I failed. I jumped to my death. I, I died two more times. That time, the time before this, and this is when I finally decided, you know, I'm gonna be safe. I'm not gonna try to speed run it. I already died twice. I don't wanna die anymore. So, the arm in the background cannot hurt you. I think the arm in the foreground can hurt you. I, the only the things that killed me here were the pit in the background and the giant laser that he's gonna shoot out of his mouth right here. So those bombs are not very hard to avoid. So, and the thing I like about this fight, the more damage you do to Metal Sonic, the more crack the the capsule that has the Phantom Ruby has, it gets more cracks. And I really, really like that. I like I like seeing the the damage being shown. So I should have really just taken my time here and not jump haphazardly to that, avoid that laser. It charges up a bit, and I didn't take advantage of that. And a really holy bot knocks the Phantom Ruby out of the way, and if we had gotten that, the rest of the game would not have happened, which I guess I'm really thankful for. I really love this game to death. It brings back a lot of fond memories. I digress. So, we say goodbye to Eggman's little vanity statue, and we see a gigantic death egg upgraded robot, and Eggman's going to transplant us to another level in Sonic's past, Hydra City Zone. And I'm sure that giant death they grow robots aren't going to come back and haunt us. But, anywho, Hydra City Zone. If you get a water shield, you'll make this level a lot easier. Because you don't have to worry about the drowning hazard. And I'll say right now, even at, even like almost 35 years old, that music gives me anxiety. I don't like it. Um, but, you know, I like to make fun of it now that I'm a little bit older. But every time I hear it, I think, running out of time, running out of time, running out of time, hey, 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 you're running out of time. That's what I hear in my head. It may not go to the tune, but that's what I hear now. Uh, but, yeah, if you have a bubble shield, or, or if you're in a bubble fat matter later in the level, those bullets can ricochet off you, you won't pick damage. 
And then right here, I believe... No, not yet. But... There's an enemy. It looks like a red, and I call it Rocket Butt, because it shoots a rocket out of its butt, hence the name, right? And that's going to be your worst bad nick to get hit by, because it's normally hidden behind waterfalls, and then it'll reappear when you get really close, but it'll pause for a minute. It won't do anything, and then of course you think, oh, he's just standing still, let me jump on top of it. And then it shoots his Rocket Butt at you. So, Rocket Butt is the worst bad nick in this entire... Excuse me. Excuse me, folks. In this entire level, I don't like it. The shark butt, shark butts, shark bots are not dangerous. They're just a nuisance, if anything. The cannon bots under the water, nine times out of ten, you have a water shield, so you don't have to worry about it. the dragonfly right there. Is useless too. So, and then the puffer fish can be annoying right there. That's what I'm talking about. See that pause right there? It wants you to jump. It's just talking with that grin. But yeah, so. Those are the bad nicks in the level, and the water and the spikes and the tridents are going to be your worst enemies in this level. The enemies are kind of a joke, in my opinion, except for Rocket, but I hate them. Anyways, I digress. So you go back up here, you jump on this, grab the switch, it'll reset the water level. And then, right here, I see that water shield, I gotta get it. So I'm going to pause for a minute. I'm going to try to get up with that spin dash. I barely miss it. If you had regular Sonic without tails, you probably couldn't get that. You could maybe get it if you spin dash at the right time and jump. But uh, if I can just use tails, I'm going to use tails. I'm use my personal chauffeur to get the higher levels of Sonic. And so we get the water. Oh, and now I didn't realize there's jellyfish bots here too. But yeah, those are kind of useless too. They shock themselves, I think. But they're really telegraphed. So you, can, you know when to avoid it. And yeah, that's it. Um, the bubbles right here. I believe they're from Sonic 2 on the Game Gear originally. And then they reappear again in Sonic Cup of Trouble. But here I can go right or up. I'm going to choose to go up because I want to get out of the water. I don't like water uh, in water levels. Hot and go figure. Um, Hydra City Act 2 is a lot better in Act 1, in my opinion. And visuals, aesthetics. Well, when I say visuals, I'm talking about the background, which is aesthetics. And the music's great, and it's just a lot faster. This level, it's more obstacle-y, obstacle-y, yeah, obstacle-y. And I, I mean, it's a platformer. I get it, but I really want to go fast in a Sonic game. And that's the whole appeal of it, right? But Act One, music's great, but it just I would like Act Two a lot more, like most things on this game. Act Two tends to be a lot better, and. I don't know why, but the background of this level, I'm sure a lot of people have not played uh, Robocop 3 on Sega Genesis, but this background reminds me of one of the levels of Robocop 3 for some reason. Um, but yeah, I digress. We're not, I'm probably never going to play that game. <laughs> Again, it's it's not a really fun game. But um, What else to talk about other than... You know, it's a water level, and Tails is stuck in limbo that he's probably going to drown, unless he teleports to us. So, take your time here, just navigate the waterway here. If you touch the, the walls, you're going to lose the bubble shield, which is ironic because you're getting shot at. Uh, Eggman there, Scooby Gear, I wonder what he's going to do. Uh, maybe he's trying to fix the plumbing of Hydra City? I don't know. I mean, it's flooded, right? Maybe he's trying to fix the plumb in here. I don't know. But he's going to plant some bombs here to try to crush us, right? And I can only imagine him thinking to himself, like, or in unjarbled water, water talk. He's like, I'm going to get you, Sonic. I'm going to crush you. And like, after almost 30 years, I'm going to get you. I think it's, I think this game is uh, celebrates his 25th anniversary, I think. Or maybe 30, I'm not sure. But I digress. It's an amazing game, folks. Go play if you haven't. But you just want to navigate here. Go really fast right here. Stop, speed dash, get out. Because you're underwater, you're not going to have enough speed to get out of that loop. So, this boss is kind of fun. I actually know it is fun because you're using Eggman's own devices against him. So, do you push A or X? Uh, you'll create a water spout and then you'll suck Eggman in. But you don't want to 
be very you want to be very careful with it because he'll drop bombs and the bombs will hurt you. And you can push down to drop these grenades for I know they have um, Death Chargers, that's what they are. I'll try to think of the name of it. You can drop these Death Chargers on the bombs if you're really good with the timing and you'll cause them to blow up and you don't have to worry about them. And I think right here I knew that he was about to blow up because otherwise I wouldn't have I wouldn't have risked it right there for the brisket. And I didn't get hit on that boss, so awesome for me. So that's the end of Act 1. And we're going to Act 2, which is significantly better in my opinion. Jeez man, that took six minutes. I can't believe that. Anyways, digress. Act 2, Hydro City Zone. One of my favorite tracks. This is my fourth favorite track in the game. It's Hydro City Zone, Flying Battery Zone Act 2, and of course all these are Act 2. Start of Speedway Act 2 and then Lava Reef Zone Act 2. Those are my favorites in this game. Um, some of the original tracks from the original zones are not as great, but they are good. Um, and I'm going to say something about, about this act, and I'm really glad they added to it from Act 2 because I love the aesthetics in the background. For one thing, I love the code purple. I've said that, I'm going to say that quite often. I think I say it again in Lava Reef, but purple is one of my favorite colors. Um, it recently became one of my favorite colors, uh, which is ironic because my city, my hometown, my hometown's color is purple. And uh, I like the architecture here in this background because it it's supposed to be a city. I know that's what it's supposed to be because it's Hydro City, Hydro City, City, right? But I don't see a city. I see a church, and some and it reminds me, it reminds me of a lot of goth, gothic and Romanesque architecture in churches. And I really, 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 really like that design. Churches are, for me, are very visually appealing. I love it. Anyways, I digress. Let's go back to Sonic, folks. So it's very fast, um, this level. And see there, we were underwater for maybe two seconds, if that. And that's what I like about it. And if I had just avoided the ring box on the left and kept going right, I could have just sped through here even more. And yeah, the music is phenomenal. I love it. It's a much faster pace compared to Act 1. Um, and the level design, I feel, for the most part, for Act 2, is almost it's almost a copy and paste exactly of Act 2 from Hydro City Zone for Sonic 3 Knuckles. But I love these little speed sections, especially the waterfall where it sounds like, yeah. But yeah. And like I said, look, we're underwater for maybe like 5 seconds. And you're not underwater for very much longer. Because you, you spin dash over here, you'll come out. So you're not underwater for very long, and I really appreciate that. Stay underwater just for a little bit and it doesn't overstay as well. I can't say enough about that. Now, I don't know how I jumped out from that from that tube right there. And I don't know exactly why I can, you know, fly tails underneath the, the platform and come out through the other end. But, you know, it's, it's, it's Sonic. I'm not going to question it. But, yeah. So, really fast, very speedy. I love it. To death. I know this part for a fact right here is copy and paste from Sonic 3 Knuckles. But if you play Sonic 3 Knuckles, you know this level really well already. <laughs> See how I mean? Rock your butt on the down here. Um, I decided to take my time here. I don't want to lose my bubble shield because the boss in Act 2 is completely underwater. Uh, except for the second phase. The second phase, you can get out of the water for a little bit. But yeah. And I believe there's a ring right down there. As you're running across the water. So if you haven't gotten all your Chaos Emeralds yet, which you should buy it now, um, you can get a you get another chance right there. And here's our boss. But you go into the toilet, the Hydro City Zone. And this boss at first glance doesn't look very familiar, but it's actually it's actually the first boss of Act 1 on uh, Hydro City Zone once you beat this first phase. So if you don't have a bubble shield, you have to get those bubbles by yourself some time. Because she's bombed, and you're gonna guide Eggman into those bombs. As you go up or down, Eggman's gonna follow you. And the spikes avoid them, they're really slow. And it doesn't matter which way you go, I just tend to stay up. You touch the bomb, it'll activate, and then it'll go towards Eggman. After about six hits, I think, or four hits, the propeller will bust, and you'll go to phase two. And phase two is the first boss of Act 1 of Hydra City Zone. Or I should say the boss of Act 1 of Hydra City Zone. You go around through here, you come out this side, you'll bust out through here. 
And then get the bubble shoot him out and hit him really quickly. I hit him twice and I let it go. And then I bounce go over him. And then here I can just bounce and hit him another three or four times. I think I hit him four times. So I hit, got to hit him two more times for the heat to knock him out of the fight. And so, like I said, if you have a bubble shield, look, how's he going to drown? He's not going to drown. The only reason you're going to lose a bubble shield is, I guess it's seven, it's not eight. Is if you're you're playing careless and you just stand still when you're in the water, Ramsey. But yeah, so how are we going to get out of here? I wonder. <clears throat> are we going to get flushed out for the top, like in that dude in Hydra City Zone? Or the wall explodes? Okay. Alright. Um. I just wish they had a better stage transition from here to the next act, but you know, you can't win them all, right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little frustrated, folks. That was my third or fourth attempt. I think it was my third at recording that. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll catch you on the next part. I'll see you. Stay real, guys. Talk to you in the next one. Later. Bye.